Hello, folks. This is Joe from My Geek Scene. I am at Random BattleCon with the two folks, two gentlemen, 2D6, <laughs> DJ Cliff. Well, sorry, Cliff and DJ Stuck. How are you two doing today? I'm wonderful, man. Not too bad. How are you? I'm recovering. Good. Recovering from... Uh, I don't know. A uh, night of partying. A night of partying. Yeah, sure. No. Oh, good. DJ Stuck, also known as Destroyer of Shins and Chair Thrower. Last night, we were <laughs> at Random BattleCon. We were playing a... Was it Joust? JS Joust. JS Joust, and it yes. was fun. And he managed to throw a chair in my way as I was running towards him. Man. Nailed my shin. Listen, and there are no rules in JS Joust. I was not expecting that. First time player. I got initiated. Yes, you did. I got welcome to the fold. I wrote that V on your forehead and lipstick. You got, <laughs> you got initiated. I got, oh. Ooh. <laughs> you two are... Uh, uh, that's a that's a generic question. Sorry. Oh, that's all right. You two are rappers. No. Oh yeah. yeah no. We are. No. No. Two D six is a. What would you call it? We are nerdcore hip hop. We rap about anime and video games and uh, blibbity blops. Blibbity blops. Jerry Seinfeld, Mario, and it's a good time. I'm not gonna ask you like, well, how did you two meet? But why did you decide to go down this path? Yeah. Why did we? I don't know. I saw a band that we became friends with, and like, mm. we can do that, and then I started rapping, and then he's like, hey, I can do that too, and he started rapping, Yeah. and <laughs> we started rapping together. Was it ICP? It no. was not. Okay. Mustache required, shout out to Koala T and uh, Drew, what was Drew's MC name? MC Mystery. MC Mystery and Koala T. Yes, they were a band that inspired us, they were a local Pittsburgh band. Hi guys. <laughs> Well, I missed you at, you were at Shootocon this year, weren't That's you? correct, I yes. took probably one or two pictures of you, but I didn't really catch your set. Um, I was all over the place, just click, 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 click. Understand. However, I did make it a point to check out your show last night. Yes. And that was, and not blowing smoke, because I'm brutally honest, if I thought you sucked, I'd tell you. But that was very, very fun. I love the energy between you Thank two. You, Thank you, man. So That's and, awesome. And it worked rather well. Oh, th I thought you were going to flip the script there and say, I'm brutally honest, I would tell you if it sucked, and boy, did it suck. <laughs> like, well, that was remember terrible. When I came up to you at your table last night, I was like, I regret coming to this yes, show. Yes, you did. I should have just been stone-faced serious and just walked, walked away. Walked away. Not, that would have broken my heart. And then the next day, like, hey, you guys want to do an interview? Because we're going mean, to continue this. I'll be uh, to totally tearing <laughs> you down. We've had people, I mean, at a convention, people walk in, people walk out if it's not their thing. Most people stay to our shows, but no one has ever come up and told us, like, wow, you guys, I stayed the whole show. You guys were horrible. I just wanted to stay to tell you guys. I, I, I'm just masochistic, so, I, like, it was very painful for me. <laughs> right. I enjoyed it because of the pain, but not because of your music. Oh, no. that's As long as we can provide a service to you, if you enjoyed the pain, beautiful. That's what we do best. I Absolutely. noticed, though, uh, you rap about, you incorporate a lot of pop culture references in your music. Yeah, absolutely. And certainly like you mentioned anime and video games. Last night when you were one of your beats was to from the soundtrack from Samurai Champloo. And I was like, wow, that's an obscure one right there because I have the soundtrack, so that's why I recognized it. Good stuff. Well, that's an awesome beat. What made you decide to start incorporating video game and um, just pop culture references into your... <laughs> well, that's a stupid question well, because if you're we, a nerd... We, we, sample, <laughs> we sample first off because we're not real musicians. Oh, yeah. We have no idea how to play instruments or anything. So that's why we sample. And actually, especially on the next album that's coming out in December, we're getting real obscure. We sample like the theme from the podcast Serial, and we sample some music from Arrested Development, and like, we go all over the pop culture board. We branch out from anime and video games, and yeah, so. But part of the reason we start with that is because it's a lot, it takes a lot longer for companies who own the rights to notice those. <laughs> we are 100% illegal, yeah, so. Wow, I'm not editing that out. I Good. hope you I hope you go to jail, because for one, I'm gonna press charges for assault. <laughs> Joust. Joust. Enjoy. I didn't, I didn't sign a waiver. No, you didn't, but you came into that room. You saw me pick up a chair and start swiping at people. You tried to push it back at me. You know yeah. what? Fair play. Yeah, but you know what? I also came back. I did like, I, I rubbed it out. That sounds horrible, folks. <laughs> I massaged out the bruise, and I came back to play the game later. Right now, I want you to punch me as hard as you can. No, no, shit. this is going to hurt. On camera. No, no, because it's going to hurt my hand. All I'm right, fragile. Like, ah, now I got a broken Grab hand. Grab that guy's baseball bat right there. I'm not going to. No, 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 no. <laughs> Dude, that's not happening. All right. <laughs> One of the songs I noticed last night, you were rapping about Sailor Moon. Yes. Why Sailor Moon? Oh, boy. Cliff is not a, really a Sailor Moon. I mean, he likes it well enough. I'm, I'm 
not as versed in anime as Stuck is. Yeah. I didn't have many of the opportunities to watch it growing up, but the one I did actually get to see somewhat often was Sailor Moon after it came on. It came on Tsunami. like yeah, Toonami early in the morning. Oh, actually. oh, that's USA Network. Yeah, USA Network. Yeah. Okay. Like I'd sit there and watch it before I ended up having to go and get ready for yeah. school and everything. But um, I mean, Sailor Moon I got into in '97 when it first came to the U.S. It was my first anime. I was searching for Final Fantasy midis on the internet, okay. and it was a site that had Final Fantasy and Sailor Moon. I downloaded a bunch of the Sailor Moon ones. I was like, oh my god, this music's amazing. Did some research, found it was coming, and I've been a fan since day one in the U.S. And I've just rewatched all 200 episodes last year. God, it's still so good. Uh, truth be told, actually, I would get up really early in the morning. Like, the show would come on at 5.30 in the morning. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And, uh, well, in Grand Rapids, where I'm based from, they had, like, this pastor trying to get people to buy stuff, you know? And okay. then I was like, all right, let's get off the television. It was Sailor Moon. And, <laughs> yes. <laughs> Sailor Moon followed the religious, like, the pastor. <laughs> yes. That, but that's how oh. nerdy I was for back in the day. I still am, but I wouldn't yeah. get up at 5.30 in the morning unless I was up to begin with. Absolutely. Yeah, dude. Well... Some of your song titles are so, please do not walk in front of my camera. All right, thank you. This is going to stay in. <laughs> Some of your ref of it, your titles, I remember, they're just so, I'm, I'm sorry, folks. I'm going to have to say this. Heaven is dickless dogs. Right. How do you come up with, I mean, so many titles I mean, that are just so I mean, random and weird. We like dogs, except for the part where they try to hump you. So, really, heaven, heaven is dickless dogs, to be honest. Basically, and we just got one over there. When we hear something in everyday conversation that sounds like it would be a good album title, we write it down in this list, and you can see. Let me just read off a couple maybe possible future 2D6 album titles. Over there just now, we got Worser Than Disco Sweat. Um, in 1693, Columbus sailed an ocean of pee. Uh, I saw a mouthful of sausage looming towards me. Uh, 48 Hours of Pork. Uh, 48 Hours of Pork? That's a good one. Butthole Memories. Uh, yeah, anyway, you just got... Whenever we find something funny, we write it down, and those become our titles, which means our titles have nothing to do with the songs, and that is the worst. When you're at a convention, somebody picks up your CD, and they go, oh, a fever for boners, and they just put it down and walk away. <laughs> you just be like, no, it has nothing to do with the song. You're like, oh, okay. Or Too they late. pick it up for that, and then they're sorely disappointed later. Oh, man, I never thought it. We should market to the crowd who has a fever for boners. <laughs> We're oh. at the wrong convention. We are at the, we need to go to Frolicon. <laughs> <laughs> well... You have how many albums do you have right now? Four, and our fifth will be out in December. Yes. Would you care to talk about that? Because uh, from the looks of it, it looked like that was successfully kickstarted. It was. Yeah, we just broke our Kickstarter goal. Uh, we hit a couple stretch goals, um, and um, yeah, uh, we're looking forward to. Uh, I don't know. It's gonna be good. We we talk about what are some things we talk about on the album. We talk about uh, Lincoln Beachy. We talk about if we had a time machine. Yeah. Yeah. We talk about. We give a new dance to people. Uh, I don't know, man. There's all sorts of cool stuff on that album. I'm really we, looking forward to it. We talk about all the fandoms being locked inside of Cleveland, Ohio. And having to fight each other to the death until only one fandom remains. Ooh. Oh, Rick Moranis, what happened to his career after Honey, I Shrunk the Kids. The dude retired. He did retire. Or did he? You don't know. You're looking at the Moranabot that he keeps in his place, <laughs> at least according to the canon of the song. He strictly does plays in Canada, that's it. Don't ruin my canon, my head canon. You don't understand how fandom works, do you? My slash Rick Moranic fix are always running in my head. Rick Moran fix? Fick Moranis. Fick Moranis. Sorry. Yes. Fick, Fick Moranis. Moranis. Fick Moranis. Slash Fick Moranis. It's a good mashup. And you said, when is this new album going to be out? December. December Maybe. Wow. Hopefully by December. Since you guys have been around for a few years, what would you like to say to your fans? Because I'm now a, I'm now a new doing? fan. Why? Why are you still here? Like, do something more productive. This is embarrassing. Literally, we are embarrassed for you. Is that covered? No one is, we're not embarrassed about it. <laughs> no so one, you should. Be. No one's laughing. No, this isn't fun anymore. Stop. Please. Cut it out. Yeah, you, you really told them. <laughs> well, if people were interested in checking out your stuff online, where would they be able to find you? You should probably come back into this, you know. Fair enough. 2d6music.slash whatever.everything. <laughs> 2d6music.com has all of our links. So we have facebook.com slash 2d6music, twitter.com, but you can get it all from 2d6music.com. All right, well, thank you, gentlemen, for this interview. Thank you. Sorry about your leg. No, no, no problem. 
Okay. Well, folks, this is Joe from my Geek Scene standing next to 2D6 at Random Battle Con. Check them out. They might destroy your shins in the future. <laughs> <laughs> Take it easy. DJ Cliff. Or do you want me to refer to you by your real names? No, uh, Cliff and Stuck is usually what we go by, which is fine. Cliff and Stuck. Yep. Or uh, Stuck, a.k.a. Destroyer of Shins, a.k.a. Chair Thrower. <laughs> oh, yeah, dude. I'm going to bust oh, your balls on that, that one. That. Oh, man. Well, that was fun, though. Yeah. Oh, that was a blast. So. It was a blast to my shins. That's what yeah. it was. Oh, oh. You should day. be getting this. This is golden. <laughs> Might be B roll footage, but I'll be doing Welcome to the con. I'm amazed that you got that close to that chair with me around. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even think about that. I was like, I was, I was like, ah. <laughs>